Today, on Crimes Among Us, I bring you the unsolved brutal murder of Jessica Chambers. Jessica Chambers has been described as a typical 19-year-old. She worked in a clothing store. She was an ex-cheerleader. She had no problem with getting attention from the men. They really seemed to like her. Um, she had been known to maybe sell some drugs in the past where she had acquired an arrest record. But you couldn't find anyone in her area. You couldn't find anyone in Batesville. You couldn't find anyone in Cortland that could say anything really negative about her that actually had a problem with her. She was well liked by mostly everyone. December the 6th, 2014, Jessica heads to the gas station to put some gas in her car. This will be the last time that her family ever saw her alive. That night, firefighters were called to a fire on Heron Road in Cortland. They thought when they got there, this was just a normal fire going on on a vehicle. So they get there, they get ready to start putting this fire out, and out comes from the woods the unthinkable. A girl in just her underwear that was burned beyond recognition. Help me, she said to the fire chief. As he could barely understand any of the words coming from her mouth, they asked her, who did this to you? Who did this to you? They thought that she mumbled, Eric. They thought it was Eric. Then one of them also said they thought it was Derek. So she gets in the ambulance. Somebody in the ambulance, they ask her, did Eric do this to you? She nods her head, no. Now, this all becomes disputed facts. Nobody really knows what happened here. No one can understand how somebody who had gasoline poured down their throat, poured down their nose, scorched, you couldn't even tell who this person is, could make any type of distinguishing word where someone could actually understand them. With her airway scorched, lips burned, tongue burned, a doctor would later testify that there was no way she could have accurately made distinguishable words that someone could understand. So the mystery of who Derek or Eric is remains just that, a mystery.